Welcome to Hope Sabbath School. It's a place where we dive into the Word of God, try to understand and know the good news and what the Lord has for us. It is a moment where we take the Bible, we study it word for word to understand everything that the Lord has put in there. You are most welcome to today's episode. I am Pastor Isaac Opoku. Today, I am the host for the discussion. I have with me here my regular host in the person of Pastor Kusi. is right here to help us to do the discussion. Pastor, you're welcome. Thank you, Pastor. Um, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to host you on, on this beautiful show or, or, of, of, of yours so to speak. Um, I know you are ready to help us to understand God's word. How is the family and how is church? They are fine by God's grace. We the Lord God. has been good. We thank God. Mm. We thank God. We also have a wonderful sister here all the way from Kaswa West District, Prince Emmanuel SDA Church in Kaswa, in the person of Efia Kisi. Efia, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is church and business and everything? Everything as well. We I thank God. Well too. I'm good by God's grace. You are most welcome to Hope Sabbath School. Last week, we studied about the good news of the judgment. In it, we realized that it is good that Christ will come someday. And it is a good news that we have heard because it is this judgment that is going to set us free from sin. It is this judgment that is going to vindicate us as children of God. It is this judgment that is going to end whatever problems we are going through as children of God. And so, yes, it is a good news for me and it is a good news for you to my dear viewer. Um, for today, we are going to look at the hour of his judgment. The hour of his judgment. Last week, it was the good news of the judgment. And today is the hour of his judgment. Um, our key test is from Romans chapter 13, verses 11 and 12. I would um, want Pastor Kusi to read for us. <laughs> Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11 and 12, reading from the New King James Version. All right. The word of God says, And do this, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than, we, than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Amen. 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 The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Mm. Linking it to the theme for this week's discussion, the mm. hour of his judgment. Pastor, what is your take? Linking the key test to the theme for um, the week. All right. So the hour of his judgment, mm. the word hour used here, mm. we know it is a measurement of time. Okay. All right. So we can rephrase the title as the time of his judgment. Mm. The hour of his judgment is the same as the time of his, of judgment. his judgment. And the scripture that we read, the text that we read, it begins by saying there, must, there is something we must do. Mm -hmm. And what is this? We are to know the time. Okay. The title is the time of his judgment. Mm -hmm. The text says, Know the time. Know the time. There is a particular time that is important in the life of the Christian mm. and in the life of the world. We must know that time. And what is that time? The time that our salvation is nearer mm. than when we first believe. The time that we must awake out of our sleep. Mm. And here we know it is not literal sleep, mm. but spiritual sleep spiritual slumberness okay in other words we are to be conscious of the, the salvation plan and okay. god's salvation calendar okay you understand that 
the night is far spent. Mm -hmm. The day is at hand. hand. All right. Thank you very much, Pastor. Sister mm -hmm. Fia, is it necessary for us to know the time in which we find ourselves as Christians? Yes. Um, to add to what he said, it's also a sense of urgency. Okay. Because as, as Christians, we have a mission on this earth. Okay. And we have a time limit for it. So if we do not know the time we are in and we are conscious of it, that means that we are going to waste a lot of time doing things that are not related to our salvation. Mm. So it is good for us to know the time we are in and also the urgency it comes with. All right. Thank you very much. We are talking about the time of judgment, of mm -hmm. his judgment. And the Sabbath school says the hour of his judgment. And we want to also say that um, the time of his judgment. Um, a story is told here that um, from the National Geography magazine, um, it describes a fire outbreak on a national park um, in the United States of America. After the, the fire, or after, yes, after the fire, um, Forest rangers um, tried to assess the, the damage of the fire. Mm -hmm. One ranger found a bed literally burned to ashes at the base of a tree. Mm. Somewhat um, sickened by the, the sight, uh, he knocked over the bird with a stick. And the most amazing thing is that when he tried it, he realized that the bird was burned to ashes. Mm. But the good news was that the mother bird was keeping three tiny babies secured under its wings. Mm. The, 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 the good news or the, the amazing thing about this story is that the mother bird could have just jumped away from the fire mm -hmm. and escaped. escaped. But it did not do that for the sake of the, the little one, yeah. the offspring. Yes. We trying to link this story to our journey here on earth in the hands of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We are told that Jesus came to die for us. In this story, we also realize that the mother bird died for the offspring. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask, Pastor, how mm. safe are we in the hands of Jesus Christ? Great. So this follows last week's lesson, mm. the good news of the judgment. Okay. And the, the, the key point is that the death of Christ on the cross mm. was actually something that was meant for us. Mm. So Christ became our substitute. Just as the little birds, mm -hmm. they were the ones who were supposed to face the death, sure. the, the fire, because they didn't have the wings to fly. To fly. Sure. The mother bird considered that it had the wing to fly, but it will die. But keeping the tiny or the little birds, they will be saved. Mm. Jesus became our substitute. He died for us so that we might live. And um, he suffered for us on our behalf. So um, if, 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 if the cross, if we take away the cross, mm -hmm. okay, then um, we don't have any hope. Okay. Christ is our only hope. Thank you. Yes, and because of that assurance of salvation, the judgment has passed in our favor. All right. Thank you very much, Pastor. <laughs> Stephia, how safe are you in the hands of Jesus Christ? Using the analogy of the forest, the burning forest, yeah. we say that it's representing the earth and also all that is happening. Okay. 
noun, the mother bed representing Jesus Christ, and Calvary. Mm -hmm. So I know that there is this selfless person who is representing me and atoning for me. And I know that at any point in time, he is willing to lay down his life for me. And that assurance alone gives me that sense of safetyness in him. That gives me that safetyness in the hands of Jesus Christ. We talk about the cleansing of the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Pastor, mm -hmm. uh, what is it about? Okay, so the cleansing of the sanctuary, mm -hmm. we are situating it within the context of the time of God's judgment. Mm. Okay, and what happens, mm -hmm. the event that takes place mm -hmm. within that period. Period, okay. <clears throat> we have this notion of the cleansing of the sanctuary from a vision okay. that God showed Daniel or gave to Daniel. Mm -hmm. And we find it in Daniel chapter 8, verse 14. Okay. It is actually at the center of this passage. Okay. Daniel chapter 8. Can, can verse we read 14. it? Yes. Okay, let me read it. Okay. He said to me, For 2,300 evenings and mornings, then the holy place will be properly restored. Mm. Amen. Amen. Okay, so if you read the, this chapter, Daniel chapter 8, yes. it's actually a vision that God gave to Daniel, to Daniel. concerning two um, animals, yeah. okay? A ram and a he-goat. A he-goat. And um, the, 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 the angel explained, if you read further, uh, further mm -hmm. the angel explained to Daniel what the ram represented mm -hmm. and what the he goat represented okay. actually the bible used animals or beasts mm -hmm. to represent kingdoms, kingdoms and powers and so the ram represented the kingdom of medo persia all right okay yeah. which came after babylon all right and then the he goat represented um greece greece yeah. which will come after medo -Persia. Sure. Now, within that, a little horn now emerges. Mm -hmm. And this guy, this mm -hmm. little horn, mm -hmm. is doing something amazing. All right. In verse 10 of Daniel chapter 8, we are told that it, in fact, waxed great mm -hmm. and magnifying himself to the prince of heaven and casting down um, stars, oppressing and persecuting what? Persecuting God's people. Right. That is what the language represents, right? It works great even to the host of heaven, casting down some of the hosts and of the stars to the ground. Mm -hmm. And the host and the stars to the ground, or the host and the stars, is representing God's people, mm -hmm. saints. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then, um, it, it, it also took away the sacrifice, which the daily sacrifice, which mm -hmm. refers to the ministration of, of Jesus Christ okay. as the high priest. Okay? And so this, this, this power is actually doing so many things okay. and opposing God's plan. So Daniel actually had a question. Mm. And the question was, ah, how long is this going to happen? Mm -hmm. How long? How long? What this power is doing mm -hmm. to God's people? How long? So is it dangerous, going to happen? So yes. wonderful, so mm -hmm. amazing. Yes. Just and no one seems God's to be able to stop to stop this, this power. power. All right. Nothing seems to stop it. All right. So it, it is prospering. Is that the reason why Daniel was so amazed? And as a result, the Bible says, I want to read mm -hmm. from Daniel chapter 8, verse 27. Yes. Then I, Daniel, was exhausted and sick for days. Mm -hmm. Then I got up again and cried on the king's business. Mm. But I was astonished at the vision, and there was none to explain it. Sure. Is it because it was so dangerous? Uh, it was so 
serious. That is why Daniel was exhausted yes. to the extent that he even started crying. Exactly. Because, mm -hmm. mainly because of what the this kingdoms, kingdoms that God doing. showed him, and particularly this little horn mm. power, was doing. What was doing. That was what made him so much perplexed. Not the meaning of the vision itself, because at this time, actually, as we study, as we go further, we realize that mm -hmm. it was later that the angel explained the vision to him. That, 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 that brings my next question yeah. to Sister Fia. Mm. Was there any hope for Daniel? Because the, the test tells us that Daniel was exhausted. He was even sick. He was crying. Was there any hope for him? Did any hope come for Daniel in the vision, in the same vision? Yes. Um, when, when you look at um, the verses 8, chapter 8, verses 27, mm -hmm. that was when he was tired, he was exhausted. Mm -hmm. But we saw that hope came from him when the angel told him okay. that um, he should get up and understand the vision. Mm -hmm. So um, considering also looking at... Um, cleansing of the sanctuary, Daniel actually had an idea of what it was about. Okay. Okay. Um, was it because he was a Jewish? Yes. Yes. His, his background. His background yes. helped him to understand yeah. what was happening. Happening. Yes. Because it, it, it used to happen in those days, mm -hmm. the cleansing of the early sanctuary. Is yes. that not it? Sure. Yes. All right. Continue. So Daniel actually had um, an idea of what it meant. Okay. But to understand um, the vision itself, mm -hmm. that exhausted him. Okay. But as we go through to um, chapter 9, mm -hmm. we saw that there was no vision actually in chapter 9. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was the explanation of what he saw in, in chapter, chapter 8. eight. Mm -hmm. So that was the hope he had because okay. Gabriel actually strengthened him. All right. Yeah. Gabriel amazes Daniel as he reveals an answer to his prayer much broader than he ever imagined. Mm. The angel Gabriel took Daniel down the stream of time mm -hmm. and revealed the truth about the coming Messiah, mm -hmm. giving the exact date of the beginning of his ministry and the cruel death, events that tied directly to the cleansing of the sanctuary. Then this leads me to um, a question to Pastor Kusi. The 2,300 days mm. and the end time, what is it about? Okay. So, the, what, the answer that came mm -hmm. in Daniel 8.14 mm -hmm. unto 2,300 day, I mean, um, evenings, mm -hmm. days and evenings, Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And we nail it down by saying that in the um, earthly sanctuary system, there were two kinds of services. All right. The daily ones, the daily sacrifice, All right. okay, which was morning and evening, and then the yearly one. Mm -hmm. Now, every Jew understood that the yearly one was when the cleansing of the sanctuary took place. Okay. And it was also a time of judgment. Okay. The Hebrew word for that service or mm -hmm. for that day of atonement mm -hmm. is Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. It was a time of solemn section mm -hmm. of the heart. Mm -hmm. You understand? And to focus on the priest ministering in the, in the most, most holy place, holy place. Yeah. because if he comes out without you confessing your sins mm. your sins remain upon you mm. and then you you die you die that is the day of judgment mm. now um daniel 8 17 when we read daniel 8 17 mm -hmm. um the angel came to daniel and said so he came near where I stood. This is Daniel speaking. Mm -hmm. And when he came, I was afraid mm -hmm. and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, mm -hmm. for at the time of the end shall be the vision. Okay. okay. So um, in short, what is happening here is that mm -hmm. Daniel is going to count 
2,300 years. Okay. Okay. And by the way, we need to make it clear that in Bible prophecy, I mean, studying the prophetic books of Daniel and Revelation, mm -hmm. which deals mainly with symbols mm. and figures, a day is not a literal 24 hours. Mm. A day represents a year. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, 2,300 days. Can, can we, Pastor, read um, a test on that to confirm what you just said? Sure. Ezekiel chapter 4, yes. verse 6. Ezekiel 4, 6. Yes. If I should read from here. Yes, yes. If you when you have completed this, mm. you shall lie down a second time, mm -hmm. but on your right side, and bear the iniquity of the house of Judah. I have assigned it to you for 40 days, a day for each year. Yes. A day for each year. Yes. And Numbers chapter 14, verse 34, mm -hmm. also reads, reads, According to the number of days which you, you spied out the land, 40 days for every day, you shall bear young guilt a year, even 40 years, and you will know my opposition. Good. Thank so, you. Yes. So yeah. these texts affirm the day-year mm -hmm. principle, okay, that sure. God uses. Mm -hmm when he is dealing with His prophecies. People. I mean, yes, he's dealing with prophecies. So um, if you use 2,300 literal days, mm -hmm. it, 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 it doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. It will not fit. Okay. You yeah. understand? It will not fit. And some also um, refer to um, the little horn as Antiochus the IV, okay. Epiphanes. Yeah. And that one also, it doesn't fit. Why? It doesn't fit. Because Daniel 8, 17, we are told that the end of the 2,300 years will actually be the time of the end. Mm -hmm. Antiochus IV Epiphanes, who was one of um, the um, Seleucids um, leaders, military leaders. Yeah. I mean, he lived somewhere 102164 um, BC, BC. Mm -hmm. which is about about 200 years before Jesus, Jesus was born. Came. Yeah. That is not the time of the end. Mm -hmm. The time of the end is way after even Jesus' ascension mm -hmm. and um, at the end of, you know, 1260 So it can years. never no, be no. him. No, no, no. It, it's not him. Sure. He doesn't fit all the, uh, the, the, the characteristics. The description. The descriptions. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Mm. So the 2,300 years coincide with the time of the end. In fact, it is at the end of this period mm -hmm. that we get the time of the end. All right. Thank you very much. When you read um, um, Daniel chapter 9, yes. verse 23, mm -hmm. when Daniel was disturbed about this dream, mm -hmm. um, if we can read Daniel chapter 9, verse 23, um, the angel came in, and called Daniel, yeah. mm -hmm. but he did not call Daniel by his name. He used an adjective, and I want us to consider it. Okay. Can, can, can any one of you read? Okay. It is Daniel chapter 9, verse 23. At the beginning of your supplications, the command went out, and I have come to tell you, for you are greatly beloved. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Consider the matter and understand the vision. Greatly beloved. Is there something for us to learn from this? Mm -hmm. That the angel, angel Gabriel, could describe Daniel as someone who is greatly beloved. Can we learn something from this? Ephia, what yeah. can we learn from this as Christians? That an angel of God could appear before a mere human being, mm -hmm. and the only description that he could give to that person was uh, greatly beloved of God. What mm -hmm. can we learn from this? First of all, that means that our Father loves us. Okay. Whatever prayer we pray, he listens to us. Mm -hmm. Because let's remember, Daniel was troubled. Okay. Daniel was very troubled. Mm -hmm. And the answer to his prayer, that adjective 
was embedded in it. Mm. So we are loved by God mm -hmm. and he understands us. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I also, um, it took me back to the beginning of the lesson where we saw a bed covering um, the three of the offspring. Of yes, mm. and it's, it's, it's linked us to Jesus Christ, mm. who is actually willing to die for us, to escape all these dangers. Mm -hmm. So it shows the kind of love God has for us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Friends, yes, you may be going through some challenges. You may be going through some difficult times, some crucibles. You will think God is not listening to your prayers. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's because maybe you have not prayed. But I want to tell you, I want to share with you and encourage you that whenever we pray to God, He listens. And we are very special to Him. And that is why the angel came in and said to Daniel, Yeah, God has seen that you are crying. God has really seen that you are perplexed. God has really seen that you are exhausted. But dearly beloved, remember, God loves you. And he cares for you and he has sent me to give you the interpretation of the vision that has caused you to be so exhausted mm. my dear friend i don't know whatever you are going through but i want you to trust the lord that you say that yes anytime you are going through any difficulty god is right there to listen to your prayer as I could see, yes. Pastor, I want us to yes. Let sir. me let me add something briefly to okay. your question. You know, I answered that question with reference to Daniel chapter verse chapter nine. They chapter, chapter nine, oh, right. verse two and three. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the first year of his reign, I Daniel understood by books the number of the years mm -hmm. whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish seventy years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Verse three. And I set my face unto the Lord God yeah. to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Mm. Okay? Mm. Now God loves all his children. Mm. Sure. But there are certain things mm. that when God sees about his people, his people, mm -hmm. he sets his special love upon them. Mm. And that is caring about the things of God. Mm. Caring about the things, things of, of God. God. Mm -hmm. Not just seeking your own. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, what worries God? must worry you. Mm. Daniel is worried about the state of God's of, nation. Of God's people, God's people and God's nation. Yes. And so he actually um, studies uh -huh. the books uh -huh. to understand mm. the will and the purpose of God, what mm. God has said regarding his people. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So when we pray that our Father in heaven, um, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed mm -hmm. be thy name. Mm -hmm. Thy will be done mm -hmm. as it is in heaven. Yeah. When we think about God's church, mm -hmm. the salvation of humanity, mm -hmm. you understand? Someone who is on the right, on the wrong path, mm -hmm. in your family, in your workplace, mm -hmm. in your neighborhood, mm -hmm. and you are caring about the salvation of such people, hey, you become greatly beloved by mm. God. Mm. Because you're not just living this world thinking about how God will solve your immediate needs, mm -hmm. but you having the bigger picture of God's um, plan, salvation plan for humanity. Mm. Mm. Thank yeah. you very much, Pastor. When you read the, the, the text we just read, Daniel yeah. chapter 9, verse 23, mm -hmm. um, which we have just read, and I want to read again, at the beginning of your supplications, that command was issued, that, that the command was issued, and I have come to tell you, for you are highly esteemed. So give heed to the message and gain understanding of the vision. Amen. God sent an angel to speak to Daniel yes. in Daniel chapter 9, mm -hmm. verse 23. Yeah. Here he says, and gain understanding of the vision. But in Daniel chapter 9, there's no vision there. Mm. So what vision is Angel Gabriel talking about here? This is Tifia. Yeah. So um, that vision, we, it takes us back to Daniel 8, 14. Mm -hmm. That says, and he said to me, for 2,300 days, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed. Okay. That was the vision and as, as we have already established, 
he wasn't it wasn't that he wasn't aware of what the sanctuary is mm -hmm. but with all events preceding to the vision mm -hmm. and and the oppression of god's people mm -hmm. and then whatever is happening to 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 god's kingdom mm -hmm. that is what um disturbed him the most exactly. so that is the vision in context of what um the angel is answering okay yeah. so in verse 9 there's no vision no. but gabriel comes in to help daniel to understand the vision in verse uh, in chapter 8 which made him cry yeah. when you read daniel chapter 9 verse 24 to 27 it's a long test but um it, um, Gabriel tries to uh, give some sort of explanation mm. to, to Daniel about um, events that will happen, which to some extent have a connection with the life of Jesus. Mm. Pastor, can you help us to understand what Angel Gabriel was talking about in relation to Jesus' ministry? Maybe we can just um read through the text daniel chapter 24 verse 26 if if you so desire okay so as you said angel gabriel has come um upon daniel's prayers and fasting mm -hmm. to break the vision down down for him mm. He has given him the overall time period, yeah. 2,300 days. days. Mm -hmm. But what are in it? Mm -hmm. What are the relevant events mm -hmm. in it? He begins by saying, 70 weeks, 70 weeks. are determined mm -hmm. upon thy people and thy holy city. That's according to King James Version. Yeah. He used the word determined. Mm -hmm. Okay? But this word determined, um, other versions use cut off. Yeah. Okay. You understand? Cut off. Um, upon thy holy city. So, first of all, mm -hmm. we need to be able to decode the meaning of the 70, 70 weeks. 70 weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, we have already said the day-year principle is what prophecy uses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if we have a day, a day is equal to a year. Sure. But here we have weeks. Sure. So, we must first convert the weeks to days. To days. Mm -hmm. So that when we get the days, we just equate it to the, the two, years. Two years. Uh -huh. Now, we know seven days are in a week. Mm -hmm. Sure. Therefore, um, if one week is made up of 70 days, mm -hmm. 70 weeks actually have 499, 490 90 days. days. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. 7, 7 is 49. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we have 70 weeks, we have 490 days. Days or years. Or years. Mm -hmm determined for thy people to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, mm -hmm. and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this 490 years is allocated to the Jews. Yeah. That's what the angel is saying. Mm -hmm. It's allocated to the Jews. Okay. You understand? Now, um, uh, when we continue verse 25, he says, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah shall be seven weeks and three score. And not. So when you, in summary, mm -hmm. he's talking about 69 weeks also. 69 weeks. <laughs> yes, that's sure. 69 weeks. Mm -hmm. um, then the street shall be built again and the wall and even in mm -hmm. troublous times. Daniel here is giving the starting time, the beginning time for the 290, 200, 2,300 2, years. years. He's giving the beginning time. Okay. When does it start? Mm -hmm. He says a commandment will be given. You understand? Mm -hmm. And this time is 457 BC. Mm -hmm. Why is it 457 BC? Let's look at that. Yes. 457 BC. Yes, it's 457 BC because mm -hmm. historically that was when um, the Jewish were not allowed to return to their homeland. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. They were they were in um, you know after Babylon Medo-Persia came. Mm -hmm. You understand. Mm -hmm. So that was when Esther 
Mordecai, yeah. Nehemiah, Ezra, yes. yeah, that, they mm -hmm. came. Now, the Ataxerxes, that was when he gave the decree. Sure. Actually, there were many decrees. Mm -hmm. In fact, the first decree was given by Cyrus, mm -hmm. King Cyrus. That's why Isaiah 45, God had predict, prophesied about him. Yeah. Yeah. But when the decree went, it didn't take immediate effect. Mm -hmm. So later, they went and searched for the decree that Cyrus made. And the final one was given by um, Ataxerxes. Mm -hmm. And that decree that allowed the Jews to go back to and rebuild Jerusalem. The Jerusalem. Mm -hmm and establish them also as a religious um, nation yeah. was 457 BC. Mm -hmm. Now this is history. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you add um, 490, mm -hmm. you understand? Counting, yes. counting 490 90, years yes. mm -hmm. from 457, yeah. you come to AD 34. AD 30. 34. Sure. Now, this was the probation time mm -hmm. that God gave to the Jews. But within this 490 years, there is another 69 weeks, mm -hmm. which if you convert to days, you get 483 years. Mm -hmm. And that's counting, once again, counting from the starting point of 457 BC, mm -hmm. it comes to AD 27. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. AD 27. Now, what happened in AD 27? Okay. The anointing of Jesus. The anointing of Jesus. The baptism in... of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. AD 27. All right. That was, um, so that is the 69 weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, so f 70 weeks, right? Mm -hmm. 70 weeks. 69 out of it, you are left at one week. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Now, in the middle of that one week, yeah. which is actually three and a half years, mm -hmm. the Messiah is cut off. Okay. Yeah. So, and after the 62 weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. Mm. Yeah. The Messiah will be cut off or crucified. The verse adds that, but not for himself. Yes. So, uh, how can we link the cut off of the Messiah mm -hmm. to Jesus Christ? Um, Afia, can you say something about that? Cutting off of the Messiah. And he says, not for himself. Is it true that Jesus came to die? And is it true that he did not die for himself, for the sins he himself committed? Mm -hmm. But he came in to die for some people. Who, who would do this? Because I won't do that. Yeah. That something I have not done, you come and then you say you want to punish me for that. Did Jesus do that? Is there any assurance from scripture that indeed Jesus did something like that for us? Can you tell me something? Yeah. So, um, Jesus came to die for us. Okay. We know that's truth. Mm -hmm. But taking it from the sure word of the prophecy. Okay. The explanation Pastor, Pastor has just given. gave. The analysis. Everything. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's not like a year was missed. Mm. All that the vision has been given, it mm. came at the appointed time. Okay. And the appointed time he mm. died. Mm -hmm. And he said when he lifts, when he is being lifted, mm -hmm. he will draw all men to himself. Mm -hmm. So it's not because he has sinned. He became sin for us mm -hmm. so that we can be able to enjoy the righteousness and the grace of God. The cut off, as it says, is not for himself but for us to be saved. Hmm. Yeah. So in, in, in Romans, I think Romans chapter 5, Versus verse six. 8, if we can look at that quickly hmm. and read. Romans chapter 5, verse 8, uh, Paul says something there. Okay, Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Verse if indeed hmm. Jesus did not die for, for him. himself, but he died for us. So we can situate... Jesus' death mm -hmm. to the fact that the cutoff period or uh, um, um, according to the prophecy analysis we have done so far, yeah. um, the cutoff Messiah who is cut off not for himself mm -hmm. but for a group of people can fit Jesus and Jesus alone and nobody else sure. under the sun. 
Let's read Romans 5, 8 and see. Romans 5, 8 says, mm -hmm. But God demonstrates his own love towards us. Okay. In that whilst we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. 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 So, um, Paul here is trying to help us to understand that Jesus came in to die for us yeah. and not for himself. Mm -hmm. And in Daniel chapter 9, we are told that there will be a cutoff mm. of a Messiah. Yeah. And not for himself, mm. but for a group of people, which we can situate Jesus into this. Mm. Because he came in, and the Bible makes it very clear that he never sinned, mm -hmm. but All he right. died. And, and, the, and the test, Paul is also adding to it that he did not die for himself, but he died for Pastor Kusi, mm -hmm. for Efia, for Pastor Poku, and for you, my cherished viewer. And so, if we are giving our all to Christ, yeah. we must understand. If anybody is saying anything about this Christ, we must stand up. Mm -hmm. Because he came down to die for us. And he alone can fit into this prophecy. Mm -hmm. Pastor Kusi? Yes. 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 So, Pastor... Um, the God is concerned about our salvation. Mm -hmm. He's so concerned about our salvation that he gives us its calendar, okay. mm -hmm. its timetable, yeah. mm -hmm. so that his children can actually know the time mm -hmm. that they are in. Mm -hmm. And it is he who imparts the skill and the wisdom for his children to what? Understand. Understand. Because we are talking about prophecy here. Yeah. Mm. If you don't have the wisdom from God, you can't. Mm -hmm. And no wonder uh, many professed Christians and even believers, those who claim to believe in the Bible, mm -hmm. find it difficult to understand. You understand some mm -hmm. of these things. So the 2,300 years, 490, the first part is 490 years. All right? Mm -hmm. And... Within that period, a lot of things take place. Mm -hmm. 62 weeks shall be used by the Jews to build, to rebuild the city and the temple as well. For the Messiah to be able to minister in the second temple. Okay. Right? Yeah. The first temple was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. Mm -hmm. The second temple will be rebuilt for mm -hmm. the Messiah to minister in. Okay. In 69 weeks time, mm -hmm. the Messiah will be baptized. Okay. And the historian, Luke, the historian in Luke chapter 3, mm -hmm. tells us that now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius, Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, whatever, Ananias and Caiaphas, um, Caiaphas were high priests. That was when Jesus was baptized. Mm -hmm. And this we, history tells us that Tiberius Caesar reigned in the third, in the 15th year, as we are told here, was AD 27. Jesus was baptized. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. And then in three and a half years' time, he was crucified for our sins. Mm. So this prophecy is a prophecy about the Messiah. Mm -hmm. and Thank you very much. Is, and mm -hmm. what he is accomplishing, coming to accomplish for, for okay. his children. Yeah. Including you and me. That, um, we want to read Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. Mm. And that will lead us to another work that Christ is doing for his people. We have come to realize that, yes, it is Jesus Christ mm. who came in to die for us. So how can we link his death? to whatever we are studying, prophecies, and our times, what we're supposed to do, mm -hmm. what we're supposed to know. Let us read Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. Mm -hmm. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. Mm -hmm. But in the middle of the one week, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. Mm -hmm. And on the wing of abomination shall be one who makes desolate even until the consummation which is determined is poured out on the desolate. Bringing an end 
to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What kind of sacrifice are we talking about? Yeah. The earthly sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The earthly sacrifice that God himself instituted. Okay. As a provisional um, solution. Solution for <laughs> humanity as at the time. As yeah. at the time. Okay. So that when the Messiah comes mm -hmm. and dies, I mean, um, actually die on the cross, mm -hmm. that um, template or that system will come to an yeah. end. So, Pastor yes. and Sister Fia, mm. is this test that we just read, mm. Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, which talks about a Messiah dying to end sacrifices Sacrifice and oblation and, and those things. Mm -hmm. Is it relating to Jesus Christ? And is it true that Jesus came to this earth? And is it true that Jesus died? And is it true that when Jesus died, the sacrifices that they used to perform in the sanctuary for the cleansing of the, of the people mm. halted? Um, any one of you can, can take it? Oh, yes, yes. Um, in fact, when Jesus died, yes, sir. Um, in Matthew chapter 26, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Matthew chapter 26, um, when Jesus died on the cross, when he said, it is finished, mm -hmm. we are told that there was great earthquake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, uh, Matthew chapter 27, um, we are told that there was great earthquake and mm -hmm. then graves opened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. reading from 27 mm -hmm. verse 51 and 52. Um, okay. Okay. It says, and Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. That's verse 50. And behold, the veil of the temple was torn. The veil of the temple. Yes. Which temple? Torn. The sanctuary. The temple. Yeah. Where the priests used to do sacrifices mm -hmm. on behalf of the people yes. that we have talked about right here that on, on the Day of Atonement, mm -hmm. the Yom Kippur, all the people will come, the priest will go to the Holy of Holies to go and perform sacrifices for the people. Mm -hmm. When Jesus died on yes. the cross, mm -hmm. the veil that divided the, the temple into two yes. was torn. Was torn. Yes. Leaving the place open. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. The, 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 the same earthly temple that Jesus mm -hmm. ministered in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And before his death, yes, sir. the sacrifice was going on. Mm -hmm. And he was okay with it. Okay. But when he died, the veil was torn into two. Mm. And the holy place, the most holy place, which was not supposed to be seen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm by anyone anyone it it was i mean it was stripped of its glory mm -hmm. that's the meaning of it the veil mm -hmm. tearing into two mm -hmm. it was stripped of its glory mm -hmm. the high priest who was carrying the the knife about to slaughter mm -hmm. the, the the lamp the, the the sword fell or the knife fell and the lamp escaped mm -hmm. bringing to an end the earthly um sacrifice Sacrificial system. Yeah. Why? Because type has meant has met anti-type. Hmm. The real Messiah, Had Pascal come. Lamp, mm -hmm. has died on the cross. Mm. So there's no need mm. for any um, sacrifice again. This tells us that this prophecy that we are studying, this prophecy that we are talking about, that it's people so do not take mm -hmm. it serious mm. is so accurate. Yes. Yeah. And it, it, in fact, it gives us the confidence and the assurance that Jesus is the only Messiah that we have mm. as, as Christians. And so if you are, you, are, you, are, you are a Christian and you have some, some doubt about Jesus, mm -hmm. the only thing we are trying to tell you is that you need to study your, your, your Bible very well. Because when you read Mark chapter 15, verse 38, it also confirms what you just read. That, and the veil of the temple was torn 
in two mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. top to bottom. Yeah. It also confirms um, when you read Matthew chapter 3 verses 15 to 16, it also confirms Jesus' baptism. Yes. And so the prophecies that we, we are studying all this quarter is trying to reveal to us that it is Jesus that we need to know. It is Jesus that we need to understand. Jesus' work is what is making me who I am. Mm -hmm. And this will lead us to what really happened in the year 1844. We are told that in the year 1844, something really happened. Mm -hmm. In the prophecy that we are looking at, the first 4,000 or uh, 490 oh, nice. years of the 2,300 years prophecy mm -hmm. were designated specifically for the Jewish nation mm -hmm. um, of uh, antiquity and the coming of mm -hmm. the Messiah. The last part of the 2,300 years has to do with God's people, yeah. both Jews and Gentiles, along with the cleansing of the heavenly sanctuary and ultimately the second coming of Christ. Mm. So I want to ask, I will start from, this question goes to both of you, mm. but I'm starting from Pastor. What really happened in 1844? Can we link it up with prophecy? Sure, sure. So um, 490 years mm -hmm. which God gave to the Jews, sure. and, it, and it included the ministry and the death of the Messiah, mm -hmm. because actually the Messiah was um, supposed to be embraced and welcomed mm -hmm. by the Jews. Mm -hmm. You understand? Sure. The, the, the patriarchs and the prophets, sure. Abraham even was looking um, onto his coming. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. <laughs> he was, he came into his own, mm -hmm. but his own did not what? Receive mm -hmm. him. So that ended in that ended the 490 years ended in AD 34 AD 34 yeah we understand mm -hmm. but 490 out of 2300 years yes. means there are still more years yes, yeah. left mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about th more than 1000 years mm -hmm. left 1810 exactly 1810 1, years more mm -hmm. more and that takes us to 1844 so mm -hmm. when you take 490 Yes. Years. Yes. From 2,300 years. Yes. Yes. It will bring you to AD 31. Is that not it? Okay. And, okay. and then when you, when you take that from 2,300 years, it, it brings us to AD 31. And then when you subtract 1,810, um, when you add up, Mm. It, it brings us to 1844. Is that what you are trying to say? Yeah. So actually, um, AD 31, yes, sir. which year, that year was when Jesus was crucified, crucified, was half of the remaining week. Sure. You understand? Exactly. Uh -huh. So the remaining three years after 31 mm -hmm. takes you to 34, 34. AD 34. Sure. And that was the year Stephen was stoned. Okay. So that was actually when the Jews sealed their Faith. rebellion okay. and their rejection of the Messiah, of the Messiah. in AD 34. All right. So it is when you come from 34, from AD 34, yeah. you are left with 1810. Uh, mm -hmm. That takes you to 1844. Okay. And in AD 30, 1844, what happened? Then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Mm -hmm. So that was the beginning of the time of the judgment, mm. which is the caption of our lesson. Of our lesson. The hour of God's judgment, the time of God's judgment for the entire human race mm -hmm. began in 1844. 44. And that time, According from that to time, history to, yes, and prophecy. Prophecy. And from that time till the time we find ourselves mm -hmm. in 2023, all the period from 1844 is described as the time of the end. Mm -hmm. So from that time to when Jesus will come mm -hmm. is described or referred to as the time of the end. Mm. So the time of the end started from 1844. 
and and it tells us that there's no more time there's no more time to waste yeah. you know That's we are in injury time mm -hmm. the 90 minutes is over anything can happen yes the referee can blow the whistle at any time what does this tells us as children of god if here mm -hmm. yes. in preparing for the soon coming of jesus christ as we bring the lesson to a close being cleansed by the blood of christ mm -hmm. Initially, they were being cleansed by the, um, the blood of sheep and goats. Yeah, exactly. And even before the priest enters the Holy of Holies, mm -hmm. they were instructed to exercise, um, to actually inflict themselves. Mm -hmm. They should exercise self-control. They should cleanse themselves. Mm -hmm. And now, according to prophecy, our high priest is in the Holy of Holies. Mm. That means that we should be cleansing ourselves daily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't wait for a particular time in the year to cleanse ourselves. Okay. So it should be a daily thing for us yes. because we can die at any moment. Mm. Yeah. The cleansing should be a daily something for us as children of God. In the lives of the Israelites, it was a yearly something. But in our case, Jesus is right there. And it should be a daily affair. Pastor Kusi, your last words. So, it is still good news. It is still you good know, news. You know, all this we are talking about, I know we have been very technical. Mm, sure. For dealing with years, years and days. And stuff like that. Yeah, but they are important. Very That's good. why they are right there in the scriptures. Yeah. You know, the, they are important because we have to know the time. In fact, it gives us confidence and trust in the word of God. Yes. And it gives me confidence that, yes, the man I'm following mm. is not just a mere person. Yes. In fact, prophecy mm -hmm. describes him and prophecy reveals that he is the Messiah. Yes. And so when I'm following Christ, this uh, difficult something that we are trying to explain to mm -hmm. our viewers gives us the assurance that, the savior that we have, mm -hmm. that we are serving, is the right Messiah that we are following. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So the accuracy with which mm. these prophetic dates take place, yeah. you understand? Yeah. No room for, no margin of error. <laughs> no delay. Yes. Very precise mm -hmm. uh, on, and delayed. And so if this has happened, then... What, are, what am I awaiting as a child of God? Yeah. I am awaiting for the establishment of his kingdom. Establishment of his kingdom. You understand? And what makes up the kingdom of God? It is you and me. It is God's children mm -hmm. that makes up his kingdom. Mm -hmm. So when actually the son of man in the, in the judgment scene, right? Mm -hmm. The son of man coming to the ancient of days. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. And... We are told that in Daniel chapter 8, to receive kingdom and dominion from God forever and ever. What is he coming to do? He's coming mm. to take us from this planet. Mm. So, until he comes, we are to present our struggles, mm -hmm. the sins that easily beset us. Mm -hmm. What are our addictions? What are our struggles? Let us present them to Christ. To Christ. So that the he high will, priest, the high priest, so that he will bury them in the, sanctuary, in the sanctuary, in the heavenly, the sanctuary, heavenly sanctuary, sanctuary, cover the sins for us before he comes. Thank you very so much. So when he comes, he's coming to take us mm -hmm. to his kingdom and spend eternity with eternity us. Eternity with us. That Stephanie. is what I am awaiting for. Hallelujah. And it fills my heart of joy. Hallelujah. Stephia, your Amen. final, final words. Looking at all that has been spoken about. Mm. It gives us the confidence that God's word will come to pass no matter what. Sure. And also, we shouldn't just take the truth and just know it. We should leave it out for our fellow people. Mm. Because, well, we have discussed all this, but what do we gain if our fellow humans and our fellow friends do not know about we this truth? It through our actions. And, 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 and the preciseness and how correct it is. Yes. So whilst we are studying this, we should also let others know the truth of God. Whilst we are studying it, we should also let others know the truth of God. Mm -hmm. Dear friend, 
You have heard it all for yourself. There's no more time to waste. Christ is coming. Everything is set. We need to prepare our hearts and our minds. We need to cleanse ourselves every day. You need to allow Jesus Christ to work within you. You need to allow the Holy Spirit to convict you daily so that each day at a time, you can go to Christ and ask for forgiveness. You can serve him in truth and in sincerity. Thank you so much for watching Hope Sabbath School. Next week, God willing, we'll be looking at a wonderful topic, worshiping the creator, worshiping the creator. Thank you so much for making time to study the word of God with us. Um, before we end it, we'll bow down our heads and pray with um, Pastor Kusi. Pastor, do you have the time to do to, to sing 594 with our viewers? Okay. Hair of the Kingdom. Just the first answer, the first answer. I think we'll do. Hair of the Kingdom. Why the, the, the number? Yes. 594. Okay. 594. Oh, yes. We are singing it just to um to to end the discussion yes so far hair of the kingdom oh why does thou slumber yes yes so we can try go hair of, of the, the kingdom, kingdom oh why does thou slumber why art thou sleeping so near thou blessed home Wake thee, arouse thee, the good of thine armor. Speak for the moments are high. Shall we bow for prayer? Our most gracious and everlasting Father, we are grateful to you for your unfailing love that you have for us. And so you have made this wonderful plan, the, the free gift of salvation, to save us. We thank you for that. Amen. We pray that, Lord, you will help us to surrender our lives. Amen. You will help us to respond to your free gift of salvation so that we will be part of your kingdom, which is soon to be unveiled. We pray against any form of any sin that easily beset us. Mm -hmm. We pray that, Lord, you will help us to surrender. And as you are mediating and interceding for us, we pray that, Lord, may you take away our sins so that you will come and meet us holy and blemish and spotless. Mm -hmm. May your spirit live in us. Let us be a holy sanctuary for you. These are many blessings we ask in the name of our Father, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, dear friend, for watching Hope Channel Ghana. We have a lot of good things for you, so keep watching and keep supporting Hope Channel. Until then, stay tuned and God richly bless you. God Amen. Bless you. Amen.